Hi guys, Nick with Friction CrossFit. I'm here to go over today's workout. So let's get rolling. Up first, your warm up today. You have a six minute aim rep. You're gonna do five per side on a Cossack squat, followed by 20 linear line hops and 20 lateral line hops. And then you're gonna finish it off with 10 hand release push ups. Uh, let's go over those movements. A Cossack squat, that is a lateral or a side lunge. So we're gonna hit five per side and you're just gonna alternate back and forth. So go ahead, lean into one side, and then you can get a little step in, you're gonna lean into the other. And you're just gonna go back and forth, trying to get lower and lower every time on that squat. Uh, next is a linear line hop. So pick any line on the ground, and you're just gonna hop back and forth over that line 20 times. Then lateral, side to side. So again, take that line, and you're just going back and forth 20 times over that line. And then you're gonna finish it off with 10 hand release push-ups. Uh, normal standards there, you know, we're in that plank position, shoulders over the hands. I'm gonna lean forward as I come down. I'm gonna release my hands off the ground and then I'm gonna press right back in. So I'll show you two of those right now. So again, I'm gonna lean forward, chest and thighs touch the ground, hands release, press out. Good. So go ahead, hit 10 of those, and you're just gonna cycle through that for 10, or for six minutes, sorry there. Uh, once you're done there, we have one minute per side. We have couch, uh, pigeon, and thread the needle. Uh, it's a variation on child's pose, so let's go over all those. Uh, couch stretch, I know a lot of us are familiar with this, but if you got a chair, couch, or you can use the wall, just gonna prop that foot up on there, push the hips forward, stretch that quad out, hang out there a minute per side. Pigeon pose. We're gonna uh, go down into a lunge. We're gonna bring that front leg down in front of us. And we're just gonna hang out down there. If you need to be up on your hands, you can. But otherwise, just ease on down to your forearms. You can also kick a leg up on a box to do that one, just to make it a little bit easier. And then uh, thread the needle. Like I said, guys, you're gonna start in that child's pose position. But instead, now we're actually gonna bring this arm through, and we're gonna lean down on that. Good. So again, one minute per side on that one, just hang out there. You're just closing that shoulder up, pulling it across, stretching that out. Uh, and then the last one, guys, is a down dog with a focus on a calf stretch. Uh, so down dog, it's definitely gonna hit your hamstrings, but the more you push your heels towards the ground, you'll get more of a calf stretch. So for down dog, you know, I'm pushing back, and again, just trying to push my heels towards the ground, and I'll stretch my calves out a little bit more there. Uh, all right, guys, uh, your skill work today. You have a 15-minute EMOM. So on the first minute, you'll do a max set of double unders. Um, scale down to single unders there. And if you don't have a rope, then you're going to go ahead and do penguin hops. Uh, minute two, so your second minute, um, will be 10 per arm on a dumbbell or kettlebell uh, shoulder to overhead. So that can be a strict press, a push press, or a push jerk. Any of those options is great. You're gonna do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other arm. Um, and then you're gonna finish today off with three per leg, uh, or sorry, on minute three, you have 10 per leg on a split squat. Um, so let's go over everything real fast. Uh, again, it's max set on double unders um, or single unders. We can go to that penguin hop. So we're just looking for rhythm. You're gonna up, tap the side twice uh, while you're in the air. So as I'm going up, double tap, come right back down, and I'm just gonna get in as many as I can in that minute. Uh, second minute, again, it's the 10 per arm on dub, uh, dumbbell or kettlebell presses. We talked about either a strict press, a push press, or a push jerk. So I'm dropping back under to catch it. Uh, if you don't have either of those, uh, dumbbell or kettlebell, uh, then you're gonna go with 20 push-ups. Now, if you do have a dumbbell or kettlebell, uh, RX today is gonna be 50, and then 35 pounds for females. Uh, competitive or uh, recreational will be 35 and 26, and then lifestyle is gonna be 26 and 18. Um, so that'll be the second minute, and then finally, guys, that last minute, is a split squat, you'll do 10 per leg. So we're right here in that uh, long lunge position. I'm just gonna go down, tap the ground, come right back up. Again, I'm gonna do 10 on one leg and then 10 on the other. Uh, your score today on that is double unders. So keep track how many double unders or single unders you do. Uh, once you know what that skill work, guys, our wad today. You have three rounds. Each round is a four minute AM wrap with a one minute rest in between. The movements are gonna be 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups, and then 10 air squats. 
Um, the only things you may need to scale for, sit-ups um, can become heel touches, push-ups can become box push-ups, and then finally air squats, you can go to a target. So if you have like a chair at home, just above parallel, that'll be a good target for you. Again, you're gonna take one minute rest, and you're gonna try to match your reps each round. So keep track of all of your reps, um, and then you'll actually have three slots to score this on Wattify. Um, so you'll be able to score each round. So keep track and try to match that each round. Uh, let's talk about those movements. So sit-ups. We're in our butterfly seated position. You're gonna lean back, touch the ground, all the way forward, touch your toes, make sure your shoulders are over your hips. If you need to modify that, we'll go to heel touches. So it's more like a crunch. I'm just gonna tap my heels and come right back down. Um, normal standards on push-ups, you know, talked about that in the warm-up, so that's perfect. Uh, chest, thighs touch the ground. I'm gonna lean slightly forward and then full lockout at the top. Again, if you need to reduce that range or make it a little easier, just grab a box or a chair and do it on those. And then finally, guys, normal air squats. You know, feet, shoulder width, chest stays up, reach backwards, just below parallel and then right back up. So again, cycle through that as many times as you can in four minutes. That's one round, take a minute rest, write your reps down, and then do that two more times. And then finally, guys, as far as your rent, you have a minute per side and plank opposites. So for that plank opposite, start in a normal plank, shoulders over the hands, We've got this nice hollow position with the body, and then I'm gonna bring my left leg up and my right arm up, and I'm gonna hold for one minute. You can take a little bit of a breather and then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Um, strive for that minute. If, you're, if you don't have the capacity for that quite yet, that's okay. Um, just accumulate a minute on both sides. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, go and get after this one today. Have a good time with it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.